under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's the one game American League wildcard playoff between the Chicago White Sox and the Oakland A's. Again, everyone, Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. I'm joined by Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa. And Danny, as we take in the historical comparison there, these are two franchises that have to feel good about earning their way here into the postseason. Well, everyone has different opinions about these one-game wildcard matchups. Kind of tough that your season comes down to this after such a long season, but it certainly creates a lot of excitement and drama. The pressure's on. So we'll see who handles it better and finds a way to win. The old holdout purists may scoff, but I got to tell you, this is as exciting as it gets, folks. One game to decide who moves on. It's the wild card playoff on the show, and it comes your way next. Vita Blue gets the nod here at home for the American League wild card game. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more. New inning set to get underway. And that will bring up Nick Madrigal. The second baseman, Nick Madrigal. First pitch of the A-B now. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Now, a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 oh and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. That'll bring up Harold Baines. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Flew out in his only at bat so far. The 1 0 home is taken for ball two. Baines is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods, but I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. All even now, two and two. Third inning, no score to this point. And it's fouled away. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Another 2 2 offering. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitches second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. That's outside. He lost him ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Up next for Chicago, Frank Thomas worked the walk his first time up. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a 
and this one and one. Uh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right there, but if he comes back, this one might not come back. Now the one and one pitch is a breaking ball that misses off the plate. Now the two one pitch squared that one up just a little late. is full three and two to the White Sox DH. Well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a three two change. If he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Belted high and deep into right center. A ball that's carrying. And just short of a home run this ball's off the wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And I think that may have been a situation where the runner on first now was waiting to see if the, the ball was going to get down or not. If there, there were two outs, he most mm -hmm. likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold it third. Can't really fault him for that, though. So here's Jose Breyer. He'll take a change up here for strike one. Struck out in his first at bat. Comes set and the 0 1. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Strike with the breaking ball. Hey, I don't mind that tape right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. This is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two. Some guys with big arms like this they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Standing in now Andrew Jones. Check swing there. They'll appeal down to Gary Simmons, and it'll be strike one as he signals he wasn't able to hold up. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Pause. And the 0-2. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. One out away from stranding that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. A big time strikeout and some raw emotion as he gets out of the jam. We're back with more of this wild card showdown after this. Striding in for Oakland, Ricky Henderson back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. The pitch. Ball one.
2 0 the count to the A's left fielder. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Outside, 3 0 now. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. The three one. Swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Hey, excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here. Now the three and two pitch. away the payoff pitch one more time and that misses for ball four it's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth well in a scoreless game you want to do anything you can to jump start your offense with the speed of this guy on first don't be surprised if he gets the green light here Stepping in next, Jim Edmonds. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Inside with the fastball, it's 1 and 0. He used the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Let's pick your poison in this situation right here. I know that runner on first is certainly affecting his mechanics, but now you're down 2 0, and you got to find a way to get back in the strike zone. And the runner back. And there he goes toward second. Strike taken to throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Henderson leads off second with nobody out. Here's a fly ball well hit. Back on it is the left fielder still ranging back. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in left. And Oakland has moved out in front here, two to nothing. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money and there's your answer the great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason and he did right there in now Jason Giambi as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's 1 and 1. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1 and 2. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. 
It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that if that was a good the indication to me nine. that he isn't letting it get Reggie. to him. He went right after him Jackson. for the strikeout. At the plate, Reggie Jackson. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. The 1-0. Jackson, a native Pennsylvanian, has been in the big leagues for over two decades now. That kind of longevity is extremely rare in just about any sport. It's great to see. Yeah, there, there's just no other way to slice it but the fact that if you're going to hang in for over two decades, you're probably Hall of Fame worthy, or at least have accrued the numbers to get you there. I mean, for people to stay in the game that long, the amount of adjustments you have to make and the ability to find a way to stay on the field, to go to the post and stay healthy for over two decades is mind-blowing. Four-seam heater right down the middle. I would have thought he popped a clutch on that pitch. Okay. He bailed him out with a swing three and two now. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. The 3-2 pitch. Grounded to the right, fielded by Abreu. And a step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now batter, catcher, Ebon, Rodriguez. Stepping in once again is Fudge Rodriguez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Fastball in there for a called strike. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled off. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run home run. We played four. It's now two nothing Oakland. It won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. White Sox leave one. They trail things here two to nothing. Stepping in, Jim Edmonds comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. Smoke the other way, high and deep to left. A leap, but it's off his glove. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, when you're hitting the ball as well as he is, every time you swing the bat, you're thinking the ball's leaving the ballpark. He had a home run last time, and he almost had another one here. Nothing wrong with a double off the wall, though. Here comes Tony LaRusa out of his foxhole at the end of the dugout, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. 
here at Crochet. Comes in to work out of the bullpen now. And Dan, are you surprised that the starter's day is done? I am a little, Matt, but this is one of those moves that people will debate forever. I think he could have pitched a little bit longer, but I understand the idea of bringing a lefty in to face this upcoming left-hander as well. So we'll see how this works out. At the plate now, Jason Giambi. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. Sent on the ground out to second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. I love the fact there was no panic at second base right there. He had plenty of time. He knew his runner. There might have been a little fumble with the exchange, but plenty of time to get the guy out first. Stepping in now, Reggie Jackson, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Fouled away. A man at third with one away. Ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And some stirring now in the White Sox bullpen as it looks like a right hander's up and throwing. He's set and the two one pitch. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get in a more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher and that misses ball four so with one out that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning almost looks semi intentional there the bad news is that there are two men on base the good news is that an inning ending double play is now in order so now to the plate Pudge Rodriguez He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Throw over to first, and he's back in standing. Has a look, now the pitch. Hey, this is a spot as a pitcher right now you want to get a little bit greedy. Ideal would be to roll up a two ball. At worst, try to get yourself a strikeout. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Fouled off. Another 0 2. High in the air down the right field line. He'll run this down in foul territory, and here comes the runner from third. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3 0 ballgame. Great job there by this power hitter. The known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Now a throw over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Matt Olson is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. 
pitch outside the throw and he'll be tagged out at second base trying to get into scoring position but instead the inning is over another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases We're back with more of this wild card showdown after. The 1 0. Now that pitch tells me this guy's feeling frisky right now. He's on. He's got everything working. Outside, two and one. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Heading out towards shallow right. Into a slide, and he makes a great catch to retire the side. A fine sliding catch here will take us to break. Coverage of the wild card game rolls on after this. Matt Foster gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 63, Matt Foster. Last half of the seventh here, and here comes the first baseman, Matt Olson. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a slider well off the plate, an easy take there. This is just off the outside corner ball too. The 2-0 on the way. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. He'll get it into second. But it won't be in time and it's a leadoff double. Wow, not sure what the pitcher was thinking serving up a fastball. Right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself into scoring position to start off the inning. Standing in now, Matt Chapman. He'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. That fastball's too much for him there. One and two. Olsen leads off second with nobody out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Three on a breaking ball that misses away. Elvis Andrews is on deck. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. is there for ball four so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Here's Elvis Andrus now. It was a walk in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss that time. Strike one. This is one of those classic bunt situations here. 
but it's not a given anymore like it used to be, and that's the case even more so in the American League. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. None out, runners at first and second. In the right field, that's a base hit. Now a throw homeward is offline. My goodness. Boy, Dero, we're looking at a big inning right here with that single. Bases are loaded, yet no runs have scored in this inning. Yeah, that's exactly what that pitcher wants you to say. You have to eliminate the noise, Dad. Just try and drive in the guy from third base. Don't put pressure on yourself that you have to get everyone in with one swing of the bat. Pass the baton and keep the line moving. Jed Lowry stands in as he looks at ball one here. One oh. Nowhere to put anybody. Two oh count. Not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. The 2 1. Bases loaded here, nobody out. He takes a called third strike, and that's a big one as the bases stay loaded here with one out in the inning now. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. Cody Hoyer is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Into the box, Ricky Henderson, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. No hits to this point. One oh pitch. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Two and zero pitch on the way. Mm, pretty good cut there, but it's to two and one now. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. Hit on the ground to third. Mokata has it on the second, but the throw is wide. One run scores. He pulls into second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Well, we all know that errors happen, but not all errors are equal. That one was especially costly as two runners cross the plate. Those are game changers, no doubt about it. Jim Edmonds will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. First pitch of the A.B. now. Second and third here, one man out. Hit back up the middle. Throw goes over to third, and they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. Now, 
in now Jason Giambi as the first pitch sinker misses to him it's ball one he's hitless in three at bats to this point. That's by him for strike one. Swing and a miss on a nasty slider right there. Always felt toughest pitch in the game. If you're a guy who liked to work the big part of the field, you were on that fastball middle away. Well, that slider looked like a heater for about 56 feet, six inches. Now the one and one pitch. Whoa, damn. Two and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Ready with the two and two. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So three runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and a runner left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the A's six, and the White Sox nothing. Sergio Romo comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So now into the box is Andrew Jones. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here's the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2 the beauty of that sequence right there the fastball in now to change up away is where do you go as a hitter do you cover away do you cover the heater in you can't do both you have to pick a side of the plate and hope that's where he goes ready with another two strike offering and a classic 0 2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1 and 2 now. Well, that's a pitch right there you've got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Count even at 2 and 2. And a good hard slider as this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. Up next to Chicago, the first baseman, And now in the box, Yohan Moncada. Head-to-head -head numbers against Sergio Romo. He's one for three. Here's the first pitch. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. One out, nobody on. There's a ball low, he misses with a changeup. The one and one pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And plenty of room out there for Edmonds, and there are two gone now. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out.
Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. The White Sox down to their last strike. Struck him out, and that'll do it tonight for the White Sox. Wow, talk about a do or die situation. Amazing. They find a way to win the wild card game and advance to the division series. I know the home crowd made a difference cheering them on, and now they have all the momentum going into the next round. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. So for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire great crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching the American League wildcard game.